What is up, beautiful people? Today we're doing something different. Today we're going to do reviews with Chan. So yesterday I posted on my Instagram story about this show on Netflix called Escaping Twin Flames. And I finished watching it a couple days ago, so I thought that I would just give you a quick little review and my opinion on it. Some of you asked for this. You asked for my opinion and my feedback on this series. So I figured I would give it to you. Escaping Twin Flames is a Netflix show that has a three-part series. It's a docu-series. And basically what it is, is the expose of a scamming couple in the Twin Flame community. And the beginning is very slow. The first episode is very slow, but once you get past the first episode, it starts to speed up. So basically there's these two people, Jeff and Shalia, who started this group. They call themselves the Twin Flame universe. It was this Twin Flame universe community. And the whole idea behind it was that these two people, Jeff and Shalia, could guarantee that you would come into harmonious union with your Twin Flame. So of course that was very exciting and enticing for a lot of people because Twin Flame is a buzzword that people use to profit a lot, especially in the spiritual community. So they saw an opportunity and at first it didn't really seem like it was malicious, but then over time you started to see how this is actually a cult, especially in the docuseries. It really does a good job of showing you the progression of this cult forming. And at first it's like, oh, okay, maybe I'm interested in this. Maybe this will work for me too. It didn't really seem like there was any malicious intent in the beginning, but then over time you could see that these people were just running on greed and power. And the people who were in the community were just kind of like forced to go with whatever the cult leaders said. Not everybody is like this, but these people saw an opportunity to profit off of the lives of others, to profit off of those people who felt like they were never going to have love in their life. And people who were scared and sad, they found an opportunity. Jeff and Shalia saw this as an opportunity for them to extort others. And they even turned these people into coaches because the community started to get so big that they couldn't handle it, just the two of them. And so they needed coaches. They didn't really pay these people and they took a large portion of the money that they did pay these people to live and fund their rich, lavish lifestyle. Meanwhile, in behind the scenes meetings, Jeff and Shalia were berating people and they were showcasing this lavish lifestyle that was funded by the people from their community. They were basically just like flexing on the people who brought them money. Wild, but you see that every day with a lot of influencers anyway. So that was like something we already see, but it gets even crazier when Jeff pretends that he is the second coming of Jesus. The depiction of Jesus that we see a lot, the white Jesus, he thinks that he looks just like. And so he was like, yeah, that picture of the white Jesus is actually me. I'm the second coming of Christ. I am your God. Listen to me. You were guaranteed that you will find your twin flame. Crazy, but people believed it. And I understand why people believed it. It makes sense. And then it even gets worse because at one point they realized that they need twin flame couples to come into harmonious union for their community to grow because it looks good to people who will be joining the community and also people who are in the community. It looks good to see that Jeff and Shalia are helping connect twin flames, but Jeff and Shalia were not actually connecting twin flames. They just used that opportunity to market their community and to profit yet again. It turned into this thing where people were not actually finding their twin flames. And so they just decided that everybody who was in the community was already twin flames and they just started pairing people together. And it gets even worse because they kind of forced people and coerced people into transitioning from woman to man. And there's nothing wrong with transitioning if you feel that that is right for you. But the problem here is that Jeff and Shalia were coercing people into doing this, claiming that they weren't coercing anybody, but they definitely were encouraging the transitions for people because they would tell you that you are the divine masculine, you are a man born in a woman's body. Even if you had never felt that way before, they were telling you that. And so now you were starting to believe it and they're force feeding that to you. And they were also using it as a promotion. Sorry, they're doing landscaping today outside of my apartment. Basically, Jeff and Shalia saw people transitioning as an opportunity for them to include more of the LGBTQ plus community 
in their Twin Flame community, which would bring more people, would bring more money, would bring more attention. It would be good for them, right? So they were basically using people who were in the process of transitioning or who had never thought about transitioning. They used it as promotion marketing for their Twin Flame University. They're like, look, we have a trans woman. Crazy. I know. There was just a lot. This is my five minute recap. I don't even know what to say. Was the docuseries good? I don't know. That's gonna be up to you because I think that good is subjective, but in my own personal opinion, I would give it slightly above average and I would say it's probably a 6.5 out of 10. It does what it needs to do. It's a docuseries exposing the scam of a Twin Flame community. I don't believe that it is an accurate representation of the spiritual community, but I think that for some of you who are confused about the Twin Flame, it would be very beneficial for you to watch this because you can see what the Twin Flame dynamic is not, and you can learn about the Twin Flame a little bit just because you'll see what it is not and what it is not supposed to be. And also it'll help with you using your discernment in the future against people who are potentially cult leaders, for sure. I also really like that they brought in people who were experts in like sociology, um, gender studies, and they had them speak on things and they had them kind of like debunk some of the things that Jeff and Chalia were talking about in the docuseries which I really loved, so that was really great. I would say that it is slightly above average and it's worth a watch if you're into Twin Flames, if you're into the spiritual community. I think it's worth a watch. It's just a short three-part series. You can gain a lot from it. I found it to be very fascinating and interesting, but I don't know if I would say it was good and I would watch it again. That's my review. Hope this helped. Love you always. Take care of yourself. Stay hydrated. I will see you next time. Peace.